All right, and we're live for a little bit of solo streaming. Pillage Gaming, Hungus, uh, Mulligan's not around at the moment, but I felt like playing a stream and something for a little bit, so I'm going to start the Warhorn. Um, I've played a handful of minutes on this game uh, many, many months ago. Actually, before I upgraded my graphics card, and I had a hard time running it, so... I'm going to give it a shot now that I'm sure it runs fine and it seems like a really fun game so um, it's almost like a fresh playthrough like I've never played it before because I really don't remember anything about it so hopefully um, hopefully you guys get something out of this so let's see here let's just check our settings everything to ultra Probably don't want motion blur. And we'll try without v v sync for now. Definitely want it in 1920 by 1080, which is what my monitor supports. Sorry, I don't have a 4K high resolution monitor uh, yet. That's someday in the future. Um, I might do a video if we actually get some viewers on, on the setup I'm rocking right now. If that's something people are interested in. So I'll go ahead and delete this one. Because I don't know what was going on in that one. I'm going to make a new one here. The Pillage. <laughs> also, if you're new to the channel and you haven't watched us or me stream before, Sorry, I'm getting distracted by the amount of key bindings, which is going to be a problem for me. So, I use one of these things. This is a Razer Tartarus V2. I always call them a speed pad. I've had one like for as long as I can remember. They were the Nostromo N52TEs before Razer bought them out. And I just recently replaced them with this guy, and I love it, but it's the only way I know how to PC game with the mouse and with the speed pad, so I gotta re keybind everything to it. That's gonna take, take some time, apparently, with this game. Anyway, if you're new, uh, understand that we, we, I, myself personally, are new, um, and there's a huge learning curve that I am uh, getting over with making these videos, so bear with us. Oh, wow, yeah, this runs so much better. Okay, so E to open things, so already I gotta rebind a key. One, two, three, four, five, six, two, um, to open things. And I'll be doing that a lot as I uh, learn the game. So, what do we got? Space will take all. Okay. Need a key for that. Take that coin back. Really, uh, very pretty art style. Kind of digging it. It's definitely got a Elder Scrolls vibe to the way it plays. Take a tallow, take a coin, a bread, leather. I have no idea. Like I never even got far enough in this game to understand the mechanics of it, so I don't know if I even need to. If I'm going to be crafting things later, if I want to be taking all the stuff, I'm just assuming that I do. There's a lot of stuff. Horseshoe. <laughs> Upside down. It's been been a tough couple seasons. Talk to Adam. You're the quartermaster here, am I right? 
All right, my friend, welcome to our city. If you need any help, you can always visit me and ask. I know many people on the island, so I might be able to help you. I just now decided that I'm going to read everything <clears throat> to you guys, so... If anyone watches the video, let me know. Yes, no. Uh, let's see. For newcomers, it's always free. I'm glad that new people are visiting the island. There's some bad people out there. So it's always nice to see fresh, kind faces. Um... know anything about the Warhorn? Not much. I just know it's hard to find. I don't understand how it all works, but Wizard Wizard Jacob should know more about it. He's walking around somewhere in the city, so just go ask him. You can always go talk to my brother Snafe at the end. He might know more. I'd like to earn some coins. Farmer Tom will have something for you. Or maybe it was Terry. I don't know. Go and talk to them. You could always go to the city island, to the city or the island, and ask around. Where are my clothes? You put it beside your bed, so I hid it in a chest in case someone come, wanted to come and steal it. You should be careful with your items, my friend. Anyway, there you have it. <clears throat> I know that it may be hard to get used to, but you have, but you should have your eyes open at all times on the island. Anything I should know before I leave the city? I can tell you only about that island, beside the city you will find the warrior camp located on east of the mountains. <clears throat> Excuse me, if you go south you will encounter the magic castle where all of the wizards work. You should also know that there are thieves around the city, so be careful. If you want to know more, just talk to the people in the city. You should also visit one of the hunters. Where can I find the hunters? I'd recommend buying a map from Gregory or Cartographer. Also. If you encounter a wooden house in the middle of nowhere, you can always find one in there. See you later. <clears throat> so I got two objectives now. Talk to Tom or Jerry and talk to a hunter. And it looks like I popped them um, on the map. That's nice. Now it said something about getting my clothes. It's my inventory case. I... His inventory. Let me go ahead and map that real quick. So I do have my clothes. If I right click, I can assume equip. Yeah, okay. What I don't have are weapons. So it looks like we got a ranged ammo slot. Every time I click, the guy kind of moves. Looks like he's glitching. Gloves, ring, amulet, helmet. Might not be gloves, that could be my other hand. Left hand, right hand. <clears throat> so there's nothing up here other than this locked chest, and he didn't give me a key, right? Definitely got a little bit of a uh, a Wind Waker Breath of the Wild vibe with the little Valheim character models. Not bad. I don't know nothing about the studio that makes this either. So let's go. Uh, we can run. Gary's got some armor. So it looks a little low budget. Oh, excuse me, all the character models and NPCs. In order to fire up a campfire, place wood or sticks. Okay, typical survival stuff. I love, probably my favorite genre, survival. Nice little map showing you what's where. Not maps, but nice little signs, I should say. Looks like I actually have to close that fire up a campfire window, else it'll count down to close on its own, I assume. Nice touch. Okay, so let's go talk to Tom or Jerry. Pick up these stones. Doesn't look like it. <clears throat> well, which one should I talk to? I got a buddy named Tom, so Tom it is. 
Hello there, Anna told me you might have some work for me. Oh, hello, I haven't seen you before. Anyway, yes, I would have a small job. Would you bring me my, my brother a box of flour? That's interesting, flowers? Special type of flowers. Sure. Look, if somebody wants you to do the work, do the work. Then worry about the money. Splendid. Jerry will be super happy. There you have a map of the island. Just don't tell everyone that I gave you it for free. Okay, so we got the map. <clears throat> Gregory's taking a nice sack of gold for it. Visit the Flower King and tell him that you're looking to buy the same thing as always. Give him those 20 stones and he should give you a pack of flowers. Bring him back and I would pay 400 coins. See? And then you're not a dick because you asked about the money first. You got anything to say, Jerry? See you later. He says something about 20 stones, so I've got 25. <clears throat> I wonder if that's the thing the game does. I'm trading stones for flowers to get coins. I wonder if that's a trend that's going to continue. It's a treasure chest. Don't know how to use lock picks. Take that knife. Okay. What's in the box? Take everything. Building hammer. A sickle? Is that a weapon or is it a damage five, damage seven? In order to use a shield, you have to own a sword. When you have your shield equipped on the proper slot, you just have to draw a sword. A shield will appear in the left hand when in fighting mode. I was trying to do a wield. Doesn't look like a thing. Mouse wheel will scroll through stuff. It's always a nice touch. Yeah, let's go get the package from the Flower King. He's far away. I hear water. Oh. I guess I could have gone through the gate. Nice. Ew. So we're swimming, but boy, your hands are... arms or <sighs> so I got a health thirst and hunger bar it appears and this is not it's not like arc where I'm getting the water just from being in the water I don't see any option to drink said water all right if I just do this tutorial Excuse me. I'm a little tired. If I just do the tutorial, it should explain all this to me, right? Gladius. Can I just take everything with no repercussions? That were all beef. There's potions. 70% of damage. Get rid of poison. It was go in your hot bar. Nice. Okay. But again, being distracted. Package from the Flower King. I'm assuming that this needs to be M. Uh, this map ain't that big. I don't know if that's good or bad. I 
nice little shadow effects. So running doesn't seem to come with any penalty. If it takes my food more often or, or quicker. Must be those thieves. I don't know how to use lockpicks. Gonna have to rectify that quickly. Those torches stack. Sell those for cash, maybe. If I want to cook, more time. Some wood that I picked up. Skyrim right now. Obviously it just looks way different. <clears throat> oh man. All these iron nuggets. And gold. These are stacked. So it's gotta be important, right? start out. I hope I need this stuff. Inventory is overwhelmed. Let's go get that package. These look like guess not. Look like something I could chop down. Which begs the question: You can chop down trees. Okay, awesome. What are these? Oh, that's what I fear. Oh. Okay. Not the worst combat I've ever experienced. Not the greatest either. 
Tools aren't a good way to kill enemies. You should get a sword to apply more damage. You can buy one in the main city or craft it at the blacksmith. You can always find one, or any blacksmith that you can find. You could always use a bow if you can't buy one from a hunter. Or that you can buy one from a hunter. Sorry, time was ticking down there. I felt the pressure. <laughs> Get some damage. These are clearly damn it. Keep hitting the wrong button. Nice little animation to show you that you're harvesting stuff. Did I get stuff? Did I miss? Oh, it's popping up. Okay. Pops up right in the middle of the screen. Fuck that. I got no interest in no enormous ass spiders at all. Alright, I'm. Uh, gotta kill this one. Definitely very Elder Scrolls with how easily I'm getting off task. With a survival twist to it, which I like. Another little town. The sun's going down, though. Good thing I got 75 torches. A hey, roast chicken. I need to eat that. Doesn't help my health. But it gives me back my food. See something shiny. Alright. Obviously the game wants me to use a torch. If you have flint, press the F to set it on fire. If you don't have flint, you can set a torch on fire by putting it in a campfire or a stove. Go to the campfire and press F to set the torch on fire. Okay, so... I need to map something to F real quick. Thinking this... Nice. I keep that flint. Got eight. You can light up dungeons or caves by dropping a burnt torch. You can do that by pressing R where a torch is on fire. Nice. That lets you pick it back up, but it puts the torch out. Alright, so I got eight flint. Got a flint. Okay. Wrong button again. Instant heal. That sounds like what I need right now. I think that was the drop button. It was. That's consume. Go ahead and drink. The milk gave me some life and some water. Yielded an empty bottle. Those will stack. The wine. Stack. have that map. <clears throat> Looks like there might be different maps, y'all. Exciting. The game just got really loud. What do I do with the 
gold candle. Sell it. Clean water. Back about. Full water. Close. Nice to get that life back up a little bit. I like the torch effects. <clears throat> Just barely caught that one. What in the actual fuck is going on? <laughs> Oh my god, what a terrible noise those things make. Night Hunter. Thought they finally de aggroed. Big thanks to whoever chopped down this tree. Gotta go help a buddy cut up a tree tomorrow. Damn. Really hope I need these for something. Is there like a build menu? <laughs> build mode. Got a whole different. Hot bar. Hmm. The hell is that noise? Who the fuck are you? Rupert. I'll see you later, Rupert. Going to build mode, but it doesn't seem to really do anything. Oh, look what I found! Building. Oh, nice! It's a full-blown survival game, guys. That's that's awesome. Love it. Love survival games. I almost need to go back to town and sell this shit before I hit the road. Oh man, I need that axe. Um, what is algae? What did I just do? Seems like I made it seeds or planted it or something. Right, I need to get this. Bound to the B key. Okay. Oh, he's got a lot of potions. Need that axe. Oh, sorry about the yachting. getting late for me. It's quarter till ten, my time. Ten's about the time I go to bed, because I'm an old man and I wake up at five every morning. So a lot of the shit that I just found, it looks like I could I could have made. There's a hoe. Presumably there's some kind of farming system, but Lots of pretty cool stuff you can build here. 
toggle it from there. It's campfires, furnaces, chests, resp respawn tent. Fifteen leather. The wanderer's been all over the place. Torch holder, nice. <laughs> what is this? A jump platform? Here's like a pre-assembled shelter. In order to build your house, you need to have building plans and a totem placed. <clears throat> okay, so you can't just build all willy-nilly. There's not much in the crafting menu for now, so... Oh, I do want that axe, though. Let me find... Here, right away. Oh, was Bert. deal with the yawning. <clears throat> Stay time. Rupert, man. We need to talk about you not controlling the perimeter of your area here, because there's some wild shit out there that almost got me. I don't appreciate that. Also, should have been warned, don't go exploring at night. There's creepy shit that lurks out there. So decisions, decisions, do I venture forward and try to get the package, the full inventory, or do I go back, did I pick up two knives? I did. Is it the same knife? <clears throat> no, it can't be. Right. I think I'll just have to drop something if I, if I need that inventory space. Man, there's this wood galore. Stack size of 50 of sticks. <clears throat> Definitely want the clean water, so let's drop that for now. Take that. Consume that. Pick that back up. And now, for the 75th time today, <laughs> let's go get this package. Assume the axe is probably five damage, five damage, five damage, five damage. Now the knife is the best. You're <coughs> a chicken. So in the night time, I completely missed that huge cliff. There, there's a chicken. <laughs> Animals. Some kind of coliseum structure. Uh oh. Wonder how bad he would kick my ass. Not as bad as life is kicking my ass. You know, Skyrim didn't have the best combat. It wasn't bad, but it wasn't great. It's better than this. I assume I can sneak. <clears throat> Another goddamn island. Oh man, tell me there's boats. What in the actual fuck are those? This is weird that the first quest is just like the ropes course, man. Traverse to the other side of the map and encounter a whole bunch of happy or shit that you don't know how to deal with. I really should have armed myself before I came out here. 
I feel like that thing's gonna kick my ass. Down here, partying with the Blue Man Group. Bitch of that one right there wears jean shorts under everything. That's an Arrested Development reference if you didn't get it. And if you didn't get that reference or you've not seen Arrested Development, you should change that. Definitely in my top five of shows. What kind of weird blue line glow growing right here that I'm not super thrilled about. Looks like a glitch texture. Other side of that waterfall. I have to figure out which way to go. Another village. Maybe not, because there's there's a Funke right there. Clean water. No reason not to take it. Drink it. <laughs> Show my little dust clouds when I dash. Another lockpick. No reason not to take this roast pork and eat the roast pork. Oh shit. I have another potions I dropped. That sucks. Am I retarded? Am I not seeing them? Back size of three. <clears throat> Quest of the century, guys. We're almost there. Message from Tim. What up? These things don't seem to aggro from afar. Oh, yeah, they do. <laughs> A drowner. You know what? No. I was gonna try to fight him, but I've come this far, like, it'd be in my luck that he'd just obliterate me and I'd die right in front of the fucking quest. Right, right in front of the end of it. Holy shit, dude. Do you know what I've been through to find you? Hello, old man. What are you doing here? Oh, ho, ho, ho. Welcome to my place. I was just looking for someone like you to help me take care of my manor. You, you see my property? Wouldn't be the same without the magic garden and its beautiful flowers. Thanks to them, people respect me and I can live like a king. Okay, I see. So how can I help you take care of your manor? Look at this dude's eyes. <laughs> oh man, that's funny. Uh, is that a bug? Should I report that? You guys need to fix that. His eyes are as bad as my teeth. Fix that. <clears throat> uh, that's quite easy. First, help me by feeding my valuable pheasants. Once you are done, just come and see me and I might have more work for you. Just so you know, these birds are too lazy to even move. Just drop the grain and they should eat it after a while. I'd like to get some packages as always. Here are the stones. Ah, uh, let me see first. 
Yes, these are beautiful. I just... I don't just have... Oh my goodness. I'm so sorry. <clears throat> I don't just have stones that are shaped this way. Splendid. This is your package. Be well. We will talk later. So... Did I get the package? I don't see anything. Worst part about earbuds. Uh, itchy ear. I fear I might be talking too loud now they got this mic up close to me. Maybe I should tone it down. Sorry if I've been screaming at you. Skull, take what you can. Oh, sorry. Apologizing. Okay. <laughs> Bro, <laughs> your chickens are dead. Your pheasants, I'm sorry. Here you go, fucking fezzies. Man, what was it? Help, flower king, feed. Oh! That scared the shit out of me. <coughs> so we don't like that water. I thought somebody jumped in my chat or something. Scared me. <clears throat> so I got a wheat sack. Pheasants don't eat wheat. They eat bird seed. So if you try to take all, it won't auto stack. That's... Not good, actually. Double click. I don't know that I need tulips. Bird house. It's not the same as a bird home. One of them is much more comfortable for birds. <clears throat> Dimitri Martin. For those who don't know, 20 is the stack size on the leather. I know 50s for that. <clears throat> I, I, I completely missed the part where you told me how to feed the feed these fezzies. He wants me to drop shit on the ground. I know. Is there like a journal? Let's just hit every button and see what happens. I don't know how to whistle. Z is whistle. Let's build. Oh! There we go. Oh, look at all these skill points, son. Alright, so that was N. That seems important. Let me get that mapped. N. Save. <laughs> oh no, I lost my audio. That means you guys lost the audio too. You guys meaning no guys. Technical difficulties. It's not, it's not a Windows thing, it's a war horn thing. Oh wait, no. Footsteps. So the music just stopped. <sighs> Sorry, I have to keep getting comfortable in the chair. Oh 
Help Flower King feed his animals. Alright, so end quest. The Flower King. Oh, look. Nice dialogue tree here. Cool. By feeding my valuable pheasants, it's come to me and I might have some more work. Just so you know, these birds are too lazy to move. Just drop the grain and they should eat after a while. So, grain. I don't want to drop 14 of them. There we go. I don't know who she was yelling for. Better make sure it wasn't me. Spoiler alert, it wasn't me. I'm not so sure this is what I'm supposed to do. Oh! So I get my thirst filled, but I do take a hit to my life when I do that. Can't drink it straight from there. Fine. We'll swap it. How do you like that? Alright, so now I'm like walking. So one of these keys that I hit. <laughs> one of these keys. Made me walk. Ugh. Invite friends. Is this co op? I had no idea. <laughs> if you watch this, Mulligan, I was going to text you and tell you, bro. But then I know you get mad because I know you're not in a position to buy a game right now, and I don't want to upset you. I'll just passive aggressively do it on a live stream and a video instead. <clears throat> so sprint, toggle, toggle walk is K. So at some point I pressed K. There we go. I um, fed your pheasants. So maybe the eyes aren't a glitch because this dude has dead pheasants and maybe this is like, like a shtick. Those aren't pheasants, those are peacocks. It's not important what you call my birds, it's important that you fed them. So, did they eat anything or have they not been moving like for quite some time? <clears throat> no, my king. The peacocks were not moving. How many times do I have to tell these birds are so-called swans? Anyway, here you are. Gold coins. Oh well, I'm not as young as I once was, you know. My mobility isn't what it used to be. Might you help me with transporting something? Because people keep asking me to send them packages of my flowers and they tell me my flowers have magical healing powers or something. These acid flowers. That sounds quite easy. Who needs these magic flowers? 
over here, noise. <clears throat> uh, my good friend William is always ordering a big package of magic flowers. He's a fisherman and a vendor, so you should look for him in one of the fisherman camps. Once you're done, come back to me for your reward. We'll talk later. Give 20 mold flowers to what? So, I was already on a different quest. Hmm. Alright, so I've got some experience, right? By unlocking that tree, you get perks that will help you survive. Make you stronger and more efficient. Building mobility. By unlocking that tree, you'll get the perks that help you explore the world more efficiently. So it costs one. I have no points. Oh, look at these. Beetle mount. Stronger tools and weapons, stronger armors, better luck picking. So I don't have a skill point yet. <clears throat> I guess that experience is pulling this up. And then I'll go to one and I can buy something. So I guess whatever I came here to get from this guy. Is it relevant? Mm. Empty bottles for days. gonna hurt me it's not so can I like fill these didn't mean to almost break your shit all right well now we have a very big problem of my inventory Where do I need to go for this? I wish it would mark the quest on your map. That would be handy. Oh. I don't see any form of fast travel either. I gotta go all the way down there. Man. I really need to swing by a town and sell shit. Figure out how I can start building shit. I'm trying to keep this right around an hour or two. Because I'm getting tired and I think you might be getting... Oh, fuck me. Ugh. Hate spiders, dude. I just... I don't know if it's worth it to... to fight it. <sighs> so this is the thief camp. Not quiet. Be nice if I could sell stuff here. towards the city, I think. 
some wolves out there. Wolves everywhere. How close before they aggro. Looking dead ass at me, didn't do anything. Fill water bottles here. <laughs> no, but I can drop them. Kind of a pain. It doesn't look like I can stay underwater for very long at all yet. Which I guess is a good thing. Or like a realistic, good in a realistic way, I should say. So let me the city is this way. I feel like I could go either way. As long as I don't go careening down a mountain. Uh oh. Who's this guy? <clears throat> hey man. You wanna buy some stuff? What are you doing here? Well, it's not time yet to tell you. Okay, so you're clearly some sort of quest giver. That is not ready for me. Hey, cows. <clears throat> That's a fun noise. Walk around this big ass mountain. Fucking Fezzy. <laughs> One shot it. All chicken and feathers. Would it hurt to eat some food? Would it hurt to go to bed? I gotta get back to town, clean up my inventory before I call it a night. what that is. Oh, it's the stuff I gotta deliver. Moldy fl okay. I get it now. For some reason I was I don't know what I was thinking it was. Boy, I need fast travel. Or a mount. I see it. I see it. Yay. Hey, I'm actually breathing hard. Yawning again. Oh. The time has come. Luckily, I'm back in the town. 
I hear a babbling brook. <sighs> Playing at that angle makes my arms hands hurt a little bit. <laughs> oh, hey, what's what's that? one way to do it. Not ready for that. Not now. I just want to find the damn door. Whew. We're in old town, right? Boy, I need a sword too, and maybe a shield. Who are you? Warrior Gladys, I'm responsible for the defense of the city and I teach newcomers how to handle the sword. If you want, I can show you the basics. Really should have talked to this guy before I went venturing into the entire map. people like you around here? Well, the person of many warriors in the island. We have our own camp in the mountains, and if you're strong and brave, we can train you to become one of us. Our master is not likely to accept you unless it's unless you do something big, but you can always try. Since you're new here, I think you, sh you should buy a map of the island from our cartographer, Gregory. Do you need any help? <clears throat> I haven't heard from the mine worker. I haven't heard from the mine workers in a few days. There hasn't been a delivery of iron or gold either. Can you visit the mine and check that everything's going all right? I'll talk to you later. So that warhorn noise? Was that just the game giving me a new quest? So this guy was going to teach me the basics when we first started talking. I didn't say a fucking word about it. Alright, where can I offload some stuff? Is there a way to tell what time it is? Doesn't look like it. Oh my god, I just want to sell some stuff. Rocos. I didn't mean to hit that. Alright. Start. What do you do in the city? Another your new young face. I am Rokos. That's how I'm pronouncing it now. <clears throat> and I am an arch architect. I am an architect here. <laughs> For now, I make sure that newcomers can be able to find newcomers can be able to find to build almost anything using wood. I don't want you to take it in a bad way but there isn't free space for newcomers here so I encourage you to build your own village if you want to stay alive longer than seven days seven days to die so I offer plans for the wood building and plank buildings if you're interested take a look just wood buildings I see that we have more I see that we have a more ambitious builder it's good to hear that you want to to want to be more safe when you are ready to build stone buildings go and visit the small stone city where you'll be able to buy some stone and brick stone plans the city is located on the southern part of the island i really recommend that you buy a map <laughs> they don't shut up about these maps man i want to buy something so 
So, plans. I wonder if this is what allows me to buy, build structures. So what is this? Is this cell? So if I have one, one, five, six, let's drop. Let's trade. I can't sell the ham. I don't know if these take up an inventory spot. They do. Okay, so... Remember him. I need to come back to him. After I create some inventory space. Somebody around here has got to buy stuff. I need to find that blacksmith. There's an axe there I missed. You definitely want to buy stuff. No, I craft things here. Okay. Kind of cool, I guess. <clears throat> I ain't got time to mess around with alchemy at the moment. Probably how the rest of it's gonna work. It's just a way, ah, I see the sign. Can't use the anvil. Damn it. You're just gonna let me craft stuff too. 25. Oh, it also takes coins just to craft here. Okay, so I'm making that. Get rid of that raw venison to get that. Don't see any worry about getting a shield though. I got a common sword too. <clears throat> Could probably exchange the knife. Ah, oh, man. Okay. So that happened. Ho! Let's 
Sawyer. So I wonder if when, when I start building like a house and then putting stuff in it, if I don't have to pay people to refine things for me. That would be... <clears throat> that would be nice. Then, then I probably wouldn't be able to queue it and walk away like this because nobody would be making it for me. I don't know. I still have my original issue where I need... to sell things. It's good water and I'll drink the hell out of it, thank you. It's the shitter. Gross. Ah, bummer man. I really wanted to uh <laughs> should I buy a map so they'll shut the hell up about it? Hello, who are you? I'm Gregory. I'm a cartographer. If you want, I can sell you a map of the island. You have to be aware that it's not a full map of the island it, in the archipelago. If you want to get a full map, you just have to visit each of the cartographers, one on each island. I'm searching for the Warhorn. Can you help me somehow? I see another hotspur just arrived. All I know as much as anyone else here. Some people don't believe it exists, but I do, and I'm willing to help you. Maybe you will do it. Okay. Talk to you later. Who are you? Food. Hmm. Well, I think I'm just going to go ahead and end it here. I would have liked <clears throat> to have cleaned up my inventory and got myself ready so that the next time I log in, I can just jump right in and work on my quests. Um, actually, we'll eat some food. Turn the shiitake into seeds, probably planting them if I had a hoe. Guess I could eat this bread. There's got to be a merchant somewhere. Uh, because I have all those treasures to sell. You guys didn't trade, right? So I guess I turned that in, but it didn't even... Didn't tell me that I needed to. Honestly, I kind of forgot about it. I thought that the quest chain just led me to the flower guy. <sighs> Sorry. And the flower guy leads me to the... The other guy, the... William. But I still have those 20 molded flowers, so... I was hoping one last pass through would, uh... Would show me where I can sell that stuff, make some inventory room. Because now we're back here at Gladius. So, obviously I missed something. 
Gonna have to find it on the next one. Give that a save. Looks like a save, so... Alright, a little over an hour, hour 15 minutes. Uh, it's, uh, it's not bad. It's, uh, it's got a bit of that Skyrim vibe to it for sure. Um, looks like you can play multiplayer. That's cool. I wonder how that works. Um, it's got survival elements, which I love. Every bit of it's a little bit watered down, but again, it is an indie early access title, so that's to be expected. I don't know much of the research on it with how much time has gone into development or how often they're updating the game, but or even what the price of the game is right now, um, but it's alright, so I think I'll keep playing it, um, do a couple more streams of it, uh, hopefully it'll help somebody somewhere if you're interested in buying the game, um, maybe this will help you make an educated decision, so, but with that, it's late, I'm tired, um, you get me a little snack and head to bed, wake up in the morning, probably stream some more, so, thanks for tuning in, uh, if you're not watching live, then you're watching the uh, YouTube video I'm going to upload, make sure that you follow me on and follow us on Twitch. <clears throat> um, let us know when we're uh, streaming live. We don't we don't record and post everything that we do, but uh, as of now, we're streaming everything that we do at the very least. So uh, maybe get a little bit of enjoyment out of that. So the uh, link should be in the banner to our Twitch stream. Uh, make sure to head over there and give us a follow. Check us out hang out with us by all means we encourage you to be active in the chat talk to us uh, if you want to play games with us even better like we're, we're all about making new friends um, soon we're gonna upload a video explaining why we're even doing the whole stream and, and upload thing um, I think it'll explain a lot and maybe maybe help some of you guys want to play with us so <clears throat> uh, until then uh, everybody uh, stay stay safe out there uh, Stay happy and, and at the very least uh, Tomorrow do something for me Think of one little thing one little way you can make the world a better place and Try to put that into motion so that we can all live a little bit of a better life. I'll be a part of it. So um, Yeah, that's it guys. Thanks for tuning in. I'll catch you next time <clears throat>